Over the last few weeks, residents in Manteca have noticed a big change at local parks. The number of homeless people have dropped drastically. There was never a day in my life where I would expect to be clean and uh, do and just give back to the community that I once took from, you know. Police credit a coalition of service providers who have worked hard to build strong relationships and get those less fortunate the help that they need. CBS 13's Carlos Correa is in Manteca to show us how this program is working. From the time a resource officer encounters a homeless person, they say it takes about 45 days for them to earn their trust and get them far away from the streets. 25-year-old Morgan Castillo says he was saved from the streets. He called home for nearly three years. They've shown us love. Um, I never really experienced that even as a kid and as an, a young adult. But uh, when I met when I met them, they just they just loved me for who I was. Inner City Action is a nonprofit organization. It's part of a coalition of service providers and community resource officers in Manteca who take people like Morgan and give them a second chance at life. It's working out very well because you see those who get clean and sober off the streets because a lot of people aren't too sure sometimes with programs, but they uh, they see the other ones, they let them test the grounds out a little bit and they see that it's working for them, so they want to jump on board too. And it's one of the reasons why the number of transients and other unwelcome visitors to local parks has dropped off significantly. People that you would think they're, be, they're gone, there's no hope for them, and see them completely turn around sober with a job in a house, there's nothing to describe it. The coalition of service providers also includes partnerships with companies like Amazon, Uber, and various apartment complexes eager to help the homeless find work and shelter. It's tough love, some say, that's making a difference. And that's my main my main goal is to get the resources to, to people. I wouldn't say aggressive. Aggressive is a bad word, but uh, maybe um, I try to force people into getting getting themselves better and, and, and off the streets. Since the partnership began, close to 200 homeless individuals have been successful in turning their lives around, finding jobs and places to live. Next at five.